Okay, it's Rick with uh, World of Wheels Indianapolis. I'm with Ken Mosier from the Finer Details. Uh, as usual, you brought out a couple of great pieces. Tell me about the Kudu, uh, the story behind it, what it when it came in, uh, what were you dealing with from start to finish? This is a car, a 1971 Kudu. Um, it's a very rare car. It was a factory exec car. I found this car in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, the car had the windows knocked out of it. Um, it had the original paint on it, had primer sprayed all over and everything else, and it sat like that for years. But there were, luckily the numbers matching motor, numbers matching transmission, everything was all still there. Still there. Okay. So I bought the car, brought it back to our shop. It was one of my own cars that I was going to keep and um, restore for myself and everything, but with all the volume that I have going in and out, I don't have time for my own cars. Right. So a good friend of mine out of Water Valley, Michigan, he wanted the car. He bought the car and I restored it for him. When we do them, we spend hundreds and hundreds of hours actually blocking, taking the car apart, putting it back together, putting it back that, you know, three to four times right. doing that um, to get all the fitment perfect, the body lines perfect, and everything else. We debuted this car at the St. Louis show in 2016 and in September of this year in 2016, and then the McCacken show and then here. Now, on part of the restoration, uh, I know it was out west, so that kind of helped a little bit. It helped on the sheet metal um, not being rotted and everything else compared to another car that I have here that came from Canada. Okay, now let's turn our sights to our 70 Super B over here. Uh, tell me the story behind it. This car, a gentleman in Alberta, Canada, when he brought it to my shop, the, um, for him just driving time, not stopping or anything else, 69 hours to haul the car Holy here to me. Um, he had bought the car in 1977. Okay. In 1977, it had been hit hard in the front end. Yes. Um, they only made 34 of these cars, factory Hemi cars. That's not including four-speed and automatics. That's a combined total, yeah. 70 Super Bs with Hemis. And this is a one-of-one one car because of the color combination, the orange with the white with the um, brown buckskin interior, okay. black top. It's the only one out of all of them that were, was ever built that like combo. that. A one year only body okay. of this car. They don't reproduce quarter panels, they don't reproduce fenders. So traveling all over trying to find the, the correct Quality correct forms to be able to yeah. put on there. After it had been hit in its early days, the whole roof was all buckled. They had sat there and they had just put mud oh, all through the roof and everything. The whole roof was buckled. They had sat there and um, welded the um, windshield frames back in and everything else. Um, it was a very, very nasty job. And after this show, it's going back to Canada. Permanently. Yep. Okay. Well, again, you actually uh, stole the show again with a couple beautiful Mopars. Uh, can't wait to see what's coming next year. Agreed value, mileage rollover, and tiered mileage plans. Classic Auto, insuring your vehicle, insuring your passion. Call or click Classic Auto today. <laughs>